good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and today we're talking about a cruiser that one of two things has probably happened with you and this cruiser. One, you've never heard about it. Two, you heard about it, but you might have just forgot about it after the time of its release. And that would be pretty understandable because this is not a popular cruiser at all. But, in my opinion, it's a pretty darn good one. And that is, of course, the one you're seeing on screen. The Tier 6 Premium British Heavy Cruiser, the London. Now, the London was released, I believe, in 9.1, 9.2, right before the IFHE rework. Which changed a couple of things about the ships, especially the uh, penetration of her, of her guns and her armor. And in most cases, this was a pretty big pickup for the London. Now, I'm not saying she was garbage beforehand and god tier now. I'm not trying to tell you that this is some god tier hidden premium ship that's been tucked away for some time. It's just a pretty darn good boat. And we're going to talk about that today. So let's start off with uh, her tier, actually, tier 6. So tier 6, in most cases in today's World of Warships, will usually either be top tier or mid tier. And yes, there is the very distinct possibility that you will be a tier 6 ship in a tier 8 game. And most tier 6 ships don't do too well in that situation. And London isn't any... Um, it isn't an exemption to that rule either. She does have some things that help her out in tier 8 games, but for the most part, she's going to struggle just like any other tier 6 ship would. But at least she has, of course, HE to deal with that, unlike the uh, the Canaries, for example. So being tier 6 means that you're going to be top tier or mid tier most of the times. Um, and usually it's top tier or mid tier, mid tier being in a tier 7 game. In the matches that I played to get the footage you're watching in the background, I actually was never up tiered. That's very strange. I mean, I was in Tier 7 games, but I was never in Tier 8 games. And Tier 7 games in London does just fine. Uh, but of course, Tier 8 games, like I said, most ships are going to struggle. But of course, you're going to get up-tiered playing Tier 6 to Tier 8 eventually. And sometimes you get streaks where you get double up tier for like 10 games in a row. Yay! But with the matchmaking changes, it seems that Tier 7 is the tier that gets up to to Tier 8, to, to tier eight and Tier 9 more often now than Tier 6. We've talked about that before here on the channel, too. So, she's in a pretty decent decent place for her tier. Now, let's talk about her armor. This is one of the things that changed with the IFHE rework. Now, what's changed is that her midsection, which was, I believe, 19 millimeters uh, beforehand, is now 25 millimeters, which is pretty good. That means that's that much more AP that you can bounce from battleships and such when you stay properly angled. Now... Am I saying you're going to be able to sit here and tank Battleship AP for days? No, you're, you're, you're not going to be able to do that. It's just that those shells that hit your midsection beforehand when you were angled with 19 millimeters of armor where they wouldn't care about that, you can now bounce those shells on your midsection. But the rest of her armor, if, you've, if you're familiar with British cruisers, you should expect, uh, know what to expect here, with the exception of her Citadel. So her bound stern plating are both 16 millimeters, and her Citadel is actually quite small. It is above the waterline, but it's not that big, given how massive this cruiser is. And, of course, that's great. That's less of the ship that, that the uh, enemy team can shoot at, and you magically explode like other British cruisers. So you definitely have that going for you. And like I said, with that midsection plating pickup, that's a nice pickup for the London. And I can imagine if you were playing this ship beforehand with a 19mm midsection plating, how painful that would be. But thankfully, that's uh, no more. Now her survivability, I do have um, survivor survivability expert on the ship, which I do recommend you run, and that will give you 37,300 hit points, so that's a lot of hit points, even before survivability expert, that's on the higher end for tier 6 cr cruisers, so again, very lovely here, she has 4% torpedo damage reduction, I mean, yeah, don't eat torpedoes, <laughs> now her main guns, this is where a lot of her... Of, of her uh, strengths come in with these main battery guns. She gets 8 203 millimeter guns. Now, they do have a, a long reload time of 15 seconds. They 180 in 18.8 seconds with Grease the Gears with Jack Dunkirk equipped. They have a maximum dispersion of 117 me uh, meters and a maximum range of 13.4 kilometers. And there's no way to increase that. You don't get spotter. You, 
of course cannot fit the range module because this is a tier 6 cruiser so that is a big downside 13.4 kilometer maximum range but we'll get with how you deal with that in a second now she has HE of course she gets 16% chance of starting a fire which is lower than if you go and compare it to the other um, British heavy cruisers HE does a maximum damage of 2850 which is again unfortunately on the low side and they can pin 34 millimeters of armor, which is great. So when you do unfortunately get up tier 2, tier 8, you can at least pin uh, tier 8 battleships plating. And they come up the tubes at 855 meters a second. Now her AP does a maximum damage of 4,550. And the thing with her AP is that it is a little bit lower than normal British cruiser AP as well, but it's not really too much of an issue. I think it's like maybe a couple hundred hit um, hit points of damage lower than the uh, other British cruisers, but it's not too much lower. And they come out the tubes at 855 meters a second as well. So you have slightly worse British heavy cruiser HE, and very, very, very slightly, almost indistinguishably worse British cruiser AP as well. But they are faster. They come out the tubes a lot faster, thankfully. So you, ha you have better velocities. And I'm going to tell you right now with the London, in most cases, you're going to be firing AP. The AP does a, <laughs> does a lot of work with this ship in the way that uh, it's played. And you've probably seen that on the screen right now. But we'll talk about that more in more detail in a second. You do get 2x4 torpedo tubes. You get one rack on one side and one rack on the other side. You get four torpedoes and you can single drop them just like mm, every other British ship in the game. They have a range of 7 kilometers, which is very, very, very usable, especially if you're at tier 6. And they go 59 knots. AA, she has some. It's not the best, not the worst. It's tier 6 ship. I mean, it's there. <laughs> That's all I really have to say about that. Maneuverability, the ship is slow. The ship is really slow. 33.9 knots slow. And she has a massive turning radius. 710 meters. That, that, that's like almost touching Soviet cruiser level turning radius. I mean, shoot. This thing really feels like a heavy cruiser. Rudder shift, uh, rudder shift time is 6.3 seconds. And that is with the rudder shift module on here as well. So... Yeah, it, it's a heavy cruiser that feels like a big old heavy cruiser, even bigger than tier six standards. Concealment with the module, well, with the, not with the module, with the commander skill, you can get it down to ten point five kilometers. Now, you might be thinking, see, look, the ship has worse HE than normal British cruisers, slightly worse AP, a thirteen kilometer range. How is this one of the best cruisers in the game? Well, because you get smoke at tier six. Y'all know what what doesn't exist at tier 6 yet, at least? Radar. So you get a British heavy cruiser with AP and HE, with good ballistics out the tubes, and smoke. And you also get hydro. And you get a heal on top of that. Now, the heal, it is apparently a British DD heal. It repairs 10% of your damage in 10 seconds, and it only repairs 10% of your citadel damage. It's not the British cruiser heal. It's not a super heal, but it is a heal, which is a lot, a lot more than what most tier 6 cruisers can say. And you get Hydra too. Hydra that goes out to 3 kilometers. It's, it's, you know, if you're pushing smoke and you want to see a DD, it's good for that. But it's also great for, of course, sitting in your smoke and running your Hydra to make sure you don't eat torpedoes. It's great for that. So, what the smoke screen allows you to do is you can play the ship very, very, very close. Very close. Because, again, this is Tier 6. There, 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 There's no radar at Tier 6 unless you get a Tier 7 match and get an Indi an Indianapolis on the other, other team. So, the smoke allows you to play the ship a little bit more aggressively and, and closer and helps you make up for that lack of range. And, again, you get Hydro on top of that, too, and a heal. So, you can play... Really, really, I mean, not like throwing yourself at the enemy team, but you can play aggressive, you can play close. Um, just to be aware that, of course, you know, you are a fat British heavy cruiser, and you can go slipping out of your smoke at any instance. Now, what I mentioned about the AP. With 203mm guns at Tier 6, and this AP that you have here on the London, this ship is great for murdering other cruisers. And you see a fair bit of that in the 
of match watching in the background as well. With that smoke, you can stay undetected, sit in your smoke, do a little farming with your HE, and then if you get, get pushed by an enemy cruiser, you can switch over to AP, blab the ever-loving crap out of them, and move, and move on about your day. And again, when you're engaging other cruisers, you do have that heal to back you up. Which again, is great, it's fantastic. And with the armor too, that 25mm midsection, now granted a lot of other cruisers too did get a bit of a buff to their armor scheme, but still, it's 25mm of armor, it's good. You can bait other ships, other cruisers, into shooting you in the midsection there, stay angled enough, and just bounce the shells. And anything that overpins, that, I'm sorry, that overpins, that does get through, you do have the, uh, the good old heel to back you up there. Now, of course, obviously, if you run to a battleship, you, you, your, your day is going to quickly become very exciting and might be ruined. I'm, again, I'm not trying to tell you that this is a ship that can go out there, angle properly, and tank battleships all day long. I mean, it's 25 millimeters of armor. 15-inch guns can go through it. There's a lot of 15-inch at tier 6 and above, but it is enough to where if you do angle steeply enough, obviously, there are, is quite a few calibers that you can bounce, and it does increase the ship's survivability. Now, this ship, too, to keep this in mind, if for whatever crazy reason... Wargaming says, okay, we're going to have another tier 6, COTS, uh, not COTS, a clan battle season or a tier 6 rank season. This ship's very good and competitive. It's very, very, very good. Again, you have 203mm guns with decent AP, you get the heal, you get the smoke. I cannot tell you how many of these ships, along with the, um, the Huang Key and the Perth, that we ran into during the tier 6 season of clan battles. The ship was suddenly everywhere, and then it, it disappeared after that. Now, again, I'm not saying this is some god tier ship that can carry the team by itself but it is a good ship it's one that you may want to look into picking up if you want to play a slightly more aggressive uh, British cruiser again it's not something you can go in and like charge the enemy team down and run them down and no it's one that you can utilize the smoke and abuse the smoke too because again there's no radar at tier 6 use her large caliber well, larger caliber guns for cruisers at tier 6 use that AP put some work in and it's a wonderful British heavy cruiser commander trainer too because of most of the skills that you take here on the London you're going to use on your other British cruisers in fact the commander I'm running on the London right now is my Goliath commander I'm just going to go throw him back on my Goliath once I get done with the London so it's great for that again it does suffer from the explody syndrome of British cruisers because you know the heel will help you out a lot but again you get caught with a battleship you're, you're gonna have a bad time just make sure you don't stay near islands use that smoke and just have a good time in the ship so guys let me know what you guys think about the london in the comments down below hope you guys are having a wonderful uh friday i will be live streaming right here on the channel tonight on both twitch and youtube around 5 p.m u.s central time so make sure to come out for that hope you all have a wonderful friday hope you have a wonderful weekend hope to catch you guys in the next one